The away team control the tip-off and will get this one started. Paul kicks to Kobe. Passes to Chandler. Back to Kobe. With the fadeaway. That's good. And one of the things I really respect about Kobe Bryant, guys, is the fact that he continues to get better and refine his game. He's gotten a lot better down on the block. A lot like Michael Jordan did later on in his career. Number 15. He's guarded by Chandler. Chandler comes with the double team. And it's going to be a three-second call. And Steve, speaking of Kobe's postgame, he worked with... Akeem Olajuwon, Clark, as I recall, in the offseason to pick up a few tricks. And, you know, Kobe already had great footwork, Kevin, to begin with. I mean, a master of those pump fakes. But it starts with balance and good footwork. Um, and he was really a quick study under Akeem Olajuwon. I'm not surprised. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, I had a chance to speak briefly with Coach Nate McMillan. He said that a key for this game is not giving away any easy looks as a defense. He told me, quote, they'll do enough scoring on their own without us making it easier for them. We have to work hard each time we defend our basket for all four quarters in this one. Consistency, guys, is what he's looking for. Thanks, Doris. Well, Clark, that's a potent offense they're up against right now, and they know it. You know, I wouldn't doubt that we see them make a few adjustments on the move over the course of the game in the flow making changes. Well, they're going to have to make some adjustments as the game goes along. This team is too dynamic offensively to deal with by playing one style. And so the schemes, I think, will change according to how the game's going. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Here's the angle on our Sprite Slam Cam. That is just so sweet. I mean, power and skill combined to give us that reverse. Where do moves like that come from? Only from players like him, apparently. Number 12, defended by Durant. From six feet, gets it to go. You know, he can actually be dominant inside. I mean, it's impossible to push him around on the low block. Ball outside. Outside, Kobe. Back 10. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. They're coming out strong, guys. That's four for five from the field. Kobe Bryant now in his 16th season in what has been one of the great careers in NBA history. He's battling age now, but still a very, very productive player. And Kobe no good on that one. And Steve, you know, for Kobe Bryant, as you said, battling age, he'll be, uh, he's 33 right now going into this season. Wear and tear, a, a part of the game. He's played so many minutes, preseason, regular season, all those playoffs, Clark. He said his kneecap is almost bone on bone. He's got an arthritic right index finger on his shooting hand. 
he continues on. The guy's tough. Yeah, the battle scars of a long, successful career. And he takes pride in that, but he also recognizes the reality of it. And most of the time, you don't find out about those health issues. That's, again, a part of his desire to, once he gets between the lines, to focus 100% on the task at hand, uh, not wanting to make excuses. And with his talent and his resume, he never needs to. No, nope, you're exactly right. Just five on the clock. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Nuggets ball. Here's Williams. There's the feed to Kobe. There's the pass to LeBron. Shot from the top of the key. No good. Well, not a bad effort there. He'll usually knock that one down. Number eight. Off target from three-point range. You look at what George Carl has overcome in his battle against cancer and other issues the last few years, and it's just a testament to how tough fire from there he has a good look at. It. Both teams deciding to change it up. They trail by seven. Good thoughts by Clark as we go back to George Carl. A lot of guys, Steve, would have called it a career, but you know and I know all of us know. He just loves this game so much. Well, it was so nice to see the support that he got from around uh, the league as he battled cancer. He did such a great job with that team during the Carmelo drama, as they called it. It was uh, really... And the jam by Kevin Durant. I tell you what, I bet that's the best assist we're going to see tonight. Well, he laid it up there, Steve. A pass where only his teammate could get it. Well, perfect timing. I mean, that's what you need to, have, to make that kind of a connection. 36 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. ABC guarded by Harden. Down low, number 13. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. You know, Kevin, by and large, the turnover story hasn't been that bad for him. I mean, they've only given up a handful. With one on the clock, and he beat the buzzer, but it's no good. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The away team, they're up by nine. And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together. Really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. And it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. We'll be back momentarily.